Buddhahood. So in Buddhism, the final fruition is Buddhahood. So what is Buddhahood? I will show you, okay? Buddhahood is like this. <laughs> Do you know what is this? Not really Buddhahood yet, but the real Buddhahood is become like this. So all this enlightened qualities within us, but it's covered. So when your Buddhahood is completely uncovered, you're completely free. So how, what is the process? What is the journey? So the main practice, all the essence of the uh, entire Buddha Dharma is awareness, compassion, and wisdom. So at the beginning, you, what we call learning moon from the book. So learning moon from the book. So when you look at the book, you know, oh, moon is like this, moon color like that, shape like this. And, but you, you think the moon is like painting moon. So the painting moon is not real moon. But it has connection with the real moon because similar, you can learn quality of moon from there. You can learn shape of moon from there, color of moon, everything. So that is what we call understanding level. So when we practice all this, even you recognize awareness at the beginning. It's just understanding level. It's just an idea. You will get some experience it, and then on and off, a lot of up and down, there's a word, there's an image, there's sensation, all this mixed together, is still conceptual level. And as you practice again and again, then the second stage is what we call experiential level. So one day you're walking and you suddenly see the moon reflection in the lake. Ah, this is the real moon. The painting moon is not the real one. I thought that's the real moon, but actually the real moon is the that one. So you see the moon reflection, but still no really moon yet, but it's much better than painting moon, right? It has more vivid color, it has light, the shape, all are exactly like real moon, really alive. So that is experiential level. So when you reach the experiential level, then this, the, the image, the voice, the sensation are not much special. The image and voice, voice are less, more with feeling, more with experience. So, wow, a lot of taste also. And it come into the entire body, not just in the head. So that's the experiential level. So then you practice again, again, again. Then one day you look up according to lunar calendar, the third date, I think, the new moon, you know, new moon. The first you see tiny moon when you look up. Aha, that is the real moon. <laughs> so now you see real moon directly. So that is what we call um, direct, direct realization, the third state the third stage, direct realization level. So in that moment, you see the moon directly. So that means in that moment, you see moon directly, but not fully yet. So it's like this. So first, you try to understand the apple with a lot of cover. So even the shape, color also not clear. But it's, it's getting there, experiential level. And second, maybe all these big layers are gone, but shape is much more clear, experiential level. And then third, then you can see tiny part of the apple. Ah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Like this. You can see tiny 
part of the apple <laughs> and it need to uncover more 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 so when you buddhahood you f the apple completely manifest so so at the beginning this three stage first is head then come to the experiential level in the body then third is go into the perception level so even when you look you see these wisdoms through your eyes you hear this wisdom through your ear wisdom and compassion you see you smell so it's kind of like i say this but it's, it's not just idea not just taste experience it's become like that that is the third stage but even then you're not fully buddhahood yet enlightening it you have to go through after that nine stage so once you have direct realization the third stage after that all the other stages are more easy but until that is very difficult so then there's a fully enlightened so what is a fully enlightened so right now we are not free so like small example we have stress nobody likes stress and if you are try to remove the stress you cannot control just saying that no stress no stress it doesn't work worry i don't want to be worried i don't want to be worried more worry and this emotion comes hatred jealousy uh ignorant confusion panic depressed loss of steam all this comes out of control and then whatever you see object something nice you drawn to that something not nice even you don't like but you hate it so all this affecting our mind is pulling all over the direction and we create our own prison jail even though you feel like we are happy but actually deep level we are not so happy happy so we put ourselves into our own prison so enlightenment meaning all this bound the like cocoon the like prison everything free slowly liberate and then when you free not just free the inner quality manifest the love and compassion is your innate quality awareness is innate quality wisdom is innate quality skill is innate quality all this manifest you know and special all this wisdom doesn't have concept and it will not stuck with any other objects of so now our wisdom is limitation love has limitation something nice we may have love and compassion something not nice gone even you really want if you really want to have love and compassion with something not nice someone you hate in fact anger comes you know <laughs> we are more angry so therefore the enlightenment is completely full freedom and it is really grounded stable and then it transform not just in your head not just in your feeling it transform the way how you perceive the world um so it is cannot really completely understand right now i uh, like dog male look at the dog female wow beautiful and dog female look at the dog male ah oh, handsome so that dog understand if you try to imagine how they perceive can you understand <laughs> we cannot right so even if we are same with the illusion subject and object we all have similar concept but still we cannot understand each other so when we completely free from this bondage we bound ourselves so beyond concept yet is not like disappear everything some people they think enlightenment no subject and no object i am become like zombie you know i don't know who am i and i don't know who you are not like that in fact the what we call boundless love and compassion boundless wisdom will manifest it's very nice <laughs> but 
we have to practice. And in a way, it's so close. We all have this enlightened nature within all of us. And one way is so far because we are not recognized. I hope you will recognize and you will become a Buddha. <laughs>